despite what it might look like, it's a uh, kind of a beautiful day in Melbourne. A bit windy, we had rain, uh, but I'm here at the EV showcase that's actually part of the Dramana uh, Festival. And uh, so let's take a look around and I've got some really interesting uh, stories to share with you. And the first one actually, I'll just talk to you now about, and that's the Good Car Co. And um, these guys actually will help you import a particular car from say Japan and do some conversion stuff. And you can get yourself into like, uh, say Nissan Leaf here for about, well, uh, anywhere up to about $28,000. And uh, so if you want a cheap, affordable car that's less than a Toyota Corolla or a Yaris and things like that, it's going to save you a bucket load on petrol. Yeah. And check out these guys. They're located in Hawthorne. They do test drives. They can get an electric vehicle of your choice if you like to. They've also got some car stock available. So yeah, go check them out. But yeah, look, let's have a look around and give you a little bit of a what's what. I'm here with Chris, great name, <laughs> from Brumby. Chris, um, tell me, you, you've got some interesting looking products here. What have you got? Exactly, yeah, we've started to develop 10 different electric machines in the small range. Uh, we've got from our wheel loader standing behind us here to excavators, to forklifts, to dumpers as well. Everything wow. that you could possibly need. Crikey, that's pretty impressive. And so what sort of, you know, hours of use on a site would this sort of thing have? Uh, with something like this, you'll range from four to six hours. Depends on the, the type of use you're doing. So if you're pushing heavy dirt around, you're obviously going to get a lot less run time. Mm -hmm. Same as when you're driving your car. Gotcha. You know, that's how you use it. If you're doing economical trips and just putting around your property, you'll get much longer time. Awesome. And I see over there that little excavator. It's, it's, it's cute. I mean, uh, how long will that go for? Uh, that little excavator will run nearly eight hours. Wow. If you're just, it's got a variable idle speed. So again, it depends on the work you're doing and how much you want to push the machine. Sweet. And um, do I understand correctly? I vaguely recall you've got something like a Melbourne airport. Is that right? Yeah, we've got a 1.7 ton excavator there working in Melbourne airport. It's been custom built for them for their purpose. Mm. And yeah, they've got that running around the clock with an extension lead running off the back of it. Fantastic. So what, they can then just keep going all day long basically? Yeah, yeah. So it just extends their run time. Uh, so their plan was to be digging sort of 10 to 12 hours through the day because they had a time restraint. So yeah. they've got a custom built without lithium batteries because they're not allowed lithium in the airport. So it reduced its run time. So Gee. they're then running with a charger and a lead off the back just to get the run time back up again. Fascinating. Okay. I didn't know that, but uh, batteries in airports. It's good, good to know if you're traveling, by the way. And um, what's the next up? Uh, next up, we've got arriving, uh, looks like next week, we've got a 20 tonne wheel loader. So it lifts five tonne. It's designed to be working in all different council environments, mining environments, and it's the next big thing for us. Awesome. Oh, that's exciting. So look, thanks so much for coming on, Chris. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll leave a link down below. So if you want to, um, you know, find out more, please get in contact with Chris. I'm here with Ian from Just Ride It. Ian, these look seriously out of this world. Like, um, can you tell us more about them? Yeah, it's a Unreal All-Terrain Electric Scooter. It's a combination of a, a mountain bike and a scooter. Uh, I always wanted a safer one that, that would like make me enjoy with the kids. So what's your typical range for something like this? Um, this one here goes around 120 kilometers uh, per range. Cool. Um, and that what, at full speed or at 25 k per hour? At 25Ks, oh no, so, yeah. sorry, that's yeah. actually at full speed. Yeah. <laughs> My gosh, okay. Yeah, you get about 158 um, at 25. Yeah, yeah. Uh, combined speed, yeah, combined ride. Yeah. That's seriously impressive. So there's a lot of batteries in this. Yeah. It looks like it'd be a comfortable ride with all that suspension. Yeah. Like, you know, you know, my gosh, it's like a motorbike suspension you've got there. Yeah, it is, it's a fully um, adjustable air suspension. Wow. So, yeah, it's it's pretty good. Uh, so, Ian, whereabouts do people find you? Um, we're in uh, the city in Balaclava. Um, we have a store there. Um, just write it, JRI. We're on Facebook as well. Yep. Um, yeah, Unreal is the brand. You can uh, check it out on YouTube. Awesome. All right, cool. Well, what I'll do is I'll leave a link down to them below. And uh, Ian, these are awesome looking machines. I reckon you and me, we should do a story, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do a story. All right, yeah. cool. Thanks very Thanks, much, mate. Chris. Cheers. Cheers. I'm here with Nish from EV Trove, and I, I, I'm looking around Nish, and I'm thinking, this looks pretty exciting and different. What am I looking at? So Chris, we got uh, accessories for 
electric vehicles. Yeah. So we got a combination of a uh, few BYD products here. We got some uh, Tesla products here. So I'll start from here. Uh -huh. So we got the floor mats for BYD. That's the rear floor mat. And we got some floor mats over here. This particular product, we got the uh, front storage. Mm. As you all know, we, we got we don't we got some space in the Tesla in the front. Yep. So you got the store organizer here. Yeah. These things, so these are the door sill mats. So in case if you want to protect your doors with yeah. dirt and dust when, when you're climbing in. Yep. These are your side uh, view mirror covers. Yeah. Carbon fiber material. Wow. Very sturdy. As so, you can so, so it's not fake. It's not fake. It's not fake. Yeah, we've got a combination of a few Tesla and a few BYD products. Fantastic. Yeah. Excellent. So um, that's really impressive, by the way, that it's not a fake, you know, like yeah. a, you know, a printed thing. So well done. And um, yeah, I'm fascinated. Like I know that in the BYD and the MG, like I've reviewed, um, they could have frunks. So do you do you actually have something for that? Yes. So frunks are one of our hot selling products. As yeah. you can see here, we got the Tesla one. Mm. Uh, so we, the BYD Auto 3 specifically is being requested uh, a lot. Yeah. I reckon every Tesla should or an EV should come with a frunk yeah. install. <laughs> Absolutely. Agree. But hey, you know, we supply them as well. So mm -hmm. helps with the storage. Uh, you know, especially when you are like going out camping or stuff like that, you can just put your drinks or food in there. Mm. Especially helps. So yes, we definitely do frunks as well. Excellent. Yeah. Cool. So how do people find you? So check us out on ebtrove.com. Uh, it's a fairly new business. I've just been in the business for two and a half months. Yeah. So yeah, it's a one-stop stop. You can just come in and pick your brand and pick your products and choose your category. And there you go. Otherwise, you can follow us on uh, Facebook, Insta, and TikTok. Excellent. Well, what I'll do, I'll leave all those links down below. And uh, yeah, great, great range. And uh, thanks for you know coming on the channel. No problem. Thank you for having me. Right, cheers. Cheers. Thank you. All right, so look, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, you know what you can do, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, put a comment below, really appreciate it. And do check out the links in this video because um, it's really awesome what is going on in Australia right now. We've got this transformation happening and we need businesses like these to support that transition and uh, doing the absolute great gun, great gun, great gun. What does that mean? A great job at actually doing that. So yeah, thanks to the guys who are on and yeah, I'll see you soon.